Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And today I'm not going to review this payslip because I have almost uh, all companies payslip reviews already done. You can check those. And if you want any new payslip to be reviewed, just let me know in the comment below. But in this video, I just will discuss on uh, something on PF Provident Fund. So often I have seen in uh, in uh, payslip reviews uh, that uh, many people has a perception that uh, employee comp contribution em employer contribution also bpf epf uh, and ppf so a lot of uh, confusions are there so i'll try to uh, like you know we'll discuss on that and also i'll try to uh, give you some tips so that you can maximize the uh, utilization of your pf so if we check this uh, one this is a like you know uh, month of february and for obvious reason i have deleted all the information from it uh, in, including company's information but anyway this is a real pay payslip it is not a manipulated ones and if you see the basic uh, earning is uh, 95000 rupees so this amount uh, like you know 12% of this amount will be your pf contribution so here 12% of this amount is uh, 11400 rupees now uh, if you can see your pf statement you can see in every month this amount plus one more contribution 11400 will be added to your pf account so that amount is employer contribution so that won't be like you know completely 100 i mean 11400 so out of which possibly 8% will be added to your epf account and next uh, 4% or close to 4% will be added to your pension account so you can see almost uh, double of this amount is continuously added to your uh, epf and you can check your epf uh, portal in a passbook section you can check now the thing is that even if you are uh, if you even they are showing this is your contribution what they do basically if you can check your offer letter from other allowances they deduct this amount and hence they are uh, like you know submitting that amount to the pf portal so from company's perspective they don't pay anything so they are basically deducting this uh, EPF account twice from your salary and uh, that amount, I mean twice from your CTC and that amount will be credited to your EPF. So no company will give you, I mean give this employer contribution. So it is, it will be also be deducted from your EPF only. So even if you can check this amount is pretty high. Uh, it is around 86,000 or 89,000 in other allowances, but they are only giving 76. So they have deducted uh, the up other part from this one basically now this is the uh, pf and there is one more uh, component you can see bpf so bpf is nothing but extension of uh, provident fund employee provident fund basically so uh, you i mean this is uh, optional so i would suggest to opt for bpf there are few reason to uh, like you know suggest because uh, epf contribution i mean epf uh, has all, always given a good interest so nowadays i think this is 8.1 percent so which is possibly high in uh, pf or any other you know uh, interest section so definitely opting vpf is a great idea now how much you can opt so uh, in from this year government has introduced a tax on v, uh, like your pf so if your contribution is uh, more than 2.5 lakhs you need to pay some tax so you need to calculate basically what is your uh, like you know current employee contribution and what will be a vpf for this instance if we see like you know uh, this employee is paying like 11400 and 9000 so close to uh, 21000 he is paying so in uh, 12 months so it will be around uh, 2.44 lakhs i mean close to 2.5 but it is not exceeding 2.5 so employee need not to give any tax on that so uh, even if your uh, PF is slightly lesser than that, you can pay slightly higher VPF amount. If it is higher, then try not to exceed like, you know, 21,000 or 22,000 so that you need not to pay any tax. So that is the idea behind VPF and you can earn 8.1% 8, 8 interest on the VPF. And one more thing you, you might have uh, already started if you are a, uh, like you know employee so that one is ppf ppf given one percent less than uh, epf so ppf will usually give 7.1 percent so vpf and uh, pf is the first choice and then i think we should go for uh, EP, uh, ppf and rest all you can see the deduction and all so i think i am pretty much clear on uh, pf and vpf if you are not opted for vpf definitely you should uh, 
give it a try because you can earn uh, slightly higher interest than all other savings in, uh, instrument so that's all for today if you like this video do give us a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel just subscribe it for now because i usually post uh, these types of content